Hi everybody! Welcome back to my channel. Today is the June Silk and Sonder Planner. I've been so hooked on these books. I've been enjoying filling them out every month and this is the first time I've really been detailed and diligent about filling them out because I get so excited about them. So, I'm going to show you June. Oh my gosh. I always love the beautiful flowers on these. They're just gorgeous. I do want to tell you if you want 25% off your first Silk and Sonder Planner subscription, there's a link below that you can take advantage of and get started with a little discount. So let's open it up, see what we got. June is choice. So I'm really interested to see how they develop that. Okay, so this is where you put your info, the table of contacts, or index, they call it the index. And June is about choice, and there's a little editor note, your instruction sheet on the best ways to fill out your journal or planner. This is the year at a glance, 2020. Can you believe we're already halfway through? It's been a crazy year. And here's June all gorgeously decorated and you can see that at a glance and you can of course use those how you feel you want to you can start putting in some future logs for July August September and October it's hard to believe we can see October from here but there it is all right May reflections this is where you think about your last month and where it was good, where it went wrong, and how did you overcome things. And there's your June intentions, your goals for spiritual health, personalized physical health, key relationships, money management, and professional goals. It's really, even if it's the same goal every month, it's really good, I think, to put, even if it's a small goal, just to put something in there. and makes you feel really good when you achieve it. All right, your mood tracker, put some common moods up here and then fill them in like you color code them and you color them in. I have a hard time with mood tracker because I have more than one mood in a day. So I actually have not been doing the mood tracker because I feel happy to stress to upset to happy again all in a day. But I've never, I don't, I rarely go all day where I feel all one thing. So, I really don't use this one. I do use the habit tracker. I love this. And I put things like walking the dogs, taking my vitamins every day, and things that, and I even put in things that I know I do every day anyways, just to make it look all full. And I do think, I put things in here that I'm not as good at doing every day. And seeing the check marks makes me motivate to do more, and I think that's great. Oh, gratitude log. Things that you're grateful for every day. I have, with the May and April, I start, and then I never really finish, but I do like filling it in. So I do start it. I do think about things that make me grateful. But, you know, things go on the wayside. All right, choice reflections. We are choices. Choices I've made in the past that I'm proud of. And better choices I could have made in the past but still learned from. Wow, that's really good. I like that a lot. All right. Oh, boundaries exercise. Sometimes you forget we have the choice to say no to things. Oh, that's really good. So this is all about learning how to set boundaries in your relationships and your work and to honor them. That's fantastic. That is so good. I can't wait to fill this out. Hopefully this will help somebody that needs to learn to establish boundaries in a good way in order to keep themselves sane. A letter to my younger self. Wow, that's really neat. 
Think about your, what would you write to your younger self? And then self-care bingo. Oh, neat. So if you read a book, if you exercise, ate ice cream, because you know, that's important. Made my own popsicles, used a face mask, went somewhere beautiful, and called an old friend. Some other good ones in here, so that's neat. Okay, they also, you can tag, this is actually something that they're doing. Tag at Silk and Sonder and hashtag June Sonder Self Care Bingo Challenge. And you post your photo and email them. And they're going to announce a winner. It doesn't say what the winner gets, but you know what? Just being a winner, just saying you won, sometimes is really good. Oh, a coloring page. Oh, I like that one. The flowers in the basket. I, I always like doing these. I always just do a little bit every time. I don't sit down and color the whole thing. And then there's a quote. A couple of recipes. I did not try the main recipes last time. I try to try new recipes when I get across them, but I just it just didn't happen in May. This one looks good. No tea with spinach and pepper sauce. This is something I definitely will try. I mean it this time. And 20 minute grilled heirloom tomato and feta panzanella. Very nice. I don't have a grill. Otherwise, this sounds great. I wonder if there's a way I could... Uh, do something else because it looks delicious it's really good there's some notes you could put anything you want another quote your expense tracker I do not use this because there is not enough lines for my expenses in a month I mean there's little things that you get you know but this could be good if you're on vacation, trying to keep track of everything you spent. So, it's June, so a lot of people are on summer vacation now, if they can. Alright, then we're going to start our weekly plans, and I love these. I take advantage of these a lot, and I do like going back and writing down what my favorite food memory and song is of that week. Um... I don't use a shopping list. This is a great place for a shopping list, but I don't use it. I usually start to write things I need, but then I have another place where I write it down. I guess I'm just a creature of habit. Meal plans, actually, I have been using because I've been trying to... I at least have been writing the dinners. I don't plan on breakfast and lunch all that much in advance because in my family, they, the kids and my husband they get it all themselves and this is cool so this week I want to feel some goals you can work on and another habit activity thing there's another thing I don't use here because I use it in the other page before and I find it easier but if you want one a lot I mean yeah, and then the to-do list I definitely do I do this for um, things I need to get done around the house because for like appointments and stuff, I use this and it works great. Write down appointments, write down things you need to do specifically, things like that. I have been using that. And one thing, I've been doing the one thing on top, like I need to groom the dog this day. Or go into my mom's or something. All right, and then every week is just like that. Every time they just stop you in the middle of the month and they check on you, see how you're loving and feeling, enjoying, and all this, and think about where you're at in the month, how you're feeling, 
and that it just goes on week by week. Here's the last one, which is where we start July. They usually send the planners about a week before the next month. I'm just filming this late. I've actually had this for about a week, so. And their little sonder explanation on the back. So that's gorgeous. Oh, it's so pretty. It's made in California. All right, well, I always give this one a thumbs up. I love Silk and Sonder. I've only discovered them in March, and I am hooked. I love it. I look for I sit down every day, and I fill out my planner, and I love it. It's been so great with me. And I hope you like it, too. Don't forget, there's a link below. Get yourself a discount on your first one. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe because I always show these every month along with plenty of other things that I have to share with you. I hope you all have a great day. Bye!